Countries like Kenya and Tanzania can experience heavy rainfall, leading to flooding in certain regions. If you find yourself in this situation, here's what you should do. Stay informed about the weather conditions by checking local news, weather forecasts, and updates from authorities. This will help you anticipate any potential risks and plan your activities accordingly. Avoid flooded areas, including streets, rivers, and low-lying regions. Even shallow water can be deceptive and hide dangerous debris or open manholes. Stick to higher ground and follow the instructions of local authorities. Pack an emergency kit with essential items such as non-perishable food, water, medication, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and a portable phone charger. Keep this kit easily accessible in case you need to evacuate quickly. While Dubai is known for its desert climate, it can experience sudden and heavy rainfall, leading to flash floods. Be cautious of flash floods, especially in desert areas where the ground may not absorb water quickly. Avoid wadies, dry riverbeds, and low-lying areas during heavy rainfall, as these can quickly fill with water. Follow instructions from local authorities and hotel staff for the latest information on safety measures, evacuation routes, and emergency shelters. Don't hesitate to ask for help if you're unsure about what to do. If you're already indoors when heavy rain starts, stay there until the weather improves. Avoid driving or walking outside unless absolutely necessary, as flooded streets can be dangerous. Brazil, known for its lush rainforests and vibrant cities, can experience flooding, especially during the rainy season. Here are some safety tips for tourists. Avoid walking or driving through flooded streets. Plan ahead and know your evacuation routes and emergency contacts. Familiarize yourself with the nearest emergency shelters and medical facilities. Keep important documents, such as passports and travel insurance, in a waterproof bag. Plan ahead and stay safe during floods in these regions.